we got cut off. This is the third part. March 3, 2022, direct from the main headquarter in Hulu Sulu. This is Queen Helen Abdurajak Elizabeth III trying to give you the light. So therefore, only the truth can stop this black propaganda. Only the true heirs and successor can stop the war and can stop this block operation of the Bank Megara, of the Putrajaya, of the packagers of the claimant Sultan and the claimant heirs and successors. This is a very good thing because we know that each and every one of you are trying to mess out the rule of Queen Helen Abdurajak Elizabeth III, which according to Raja Mamai, it was given to me the rule and to lead the world in March 1, 2022. Sad to say to all of you claimants, you are being given three months to claim your session money. But I am going to impose right now to you. You are held liable to the court of the sovereign at Indanan Sulu and we are here at the main headquarter because we will be sending official documentation and we will complain to the criminal court of justice the tribunal superior de justicia but since the sovereign court is intact we are going to handle this because we are superseding all the courts of the world this is the main reason why even the Queen of England put the trust to Queen Helen as I speak to you right now. You haven't realized that I am prepared to do anything in the protection of the sovereignty. The sovereignty which was entrusted to the Queen of England as the Philippine monarchy and the sovereignty which was entrusted to Putrajaya, to the Semenanjung Malayo, which was established to protect Sabah and Sarawak. Through Tunku Abdurrahman, the direct grandfather of Raja Mamay on the Kiram side. And with all of this, with the seven Makdum, with Queen Helen, the Jamalul Alam, the administrator, the sons and daughters and the wife of Abraham Sakili. In NLF, you are classified as already dissolved. This is the most vital violation you have given me. So you will not be able to come out and have this money that you are claiming with the revolutionary government and with the OIC. Still, you have to pass through the queen. Just imagine what you have done. You have messed out the world. You have supported the lie. You have supported the claims that enslave the people of the Lupasud. You let other countries win. You let the rich become richer because you had been there adulterating the historical account of the Lupasud, of the Sultan of Sulu in North Borneo. Ama Ali is alive and he is also being duplicated by Sharif Usman presented as Jamalul Kiram Alam III that is Sultan Kasimuddin of Tawau, Malaysia. I have documents because he came here also and he also a father on the black side but supporting Miswari and Gloria Arroyo. So in this light, we know that all of you claimants you are in hot trouble as you have also been the trouble of the claims over Judge Makaski when you were returned home. Now, this is the, the, the saddest part. All of you Christian packagers, all of you that brought to Vatican, to Spain, and to other parts of the world, you will be also summoned to the sovereign court of the seven Makdum here in Indonan Sulu. You have really provoked the patience of the queen. You have under in underestimated the capacity of the queen. I am talking to you right now. And that is precisely the main reason that I speak in English so that you will have the hard blow 
wherein the entire world would understand of what I am saying, that you are all living in lie. You are living in darkness. You are living in decline. So precisely the main point that you have been trying to destroy the kingdom of Lupasu. I am situated in the very heart of Holosulu to put justice, the divine justice, the claim of everyone is not your claim. We are trying to reclaim the land, but as heirs and successors, it has been given to me with receipt, with attestation coming from the Queen of England, the, the Federal Reserve. That's why you have that amount. I will put out the one trillion US dollar that is assigned in my name and I could buy even the entire Malaysian territory. Just imagine to that. You have made all these things complicated because you are trying to impose and whoever you are trying to package this deal with the claimants, you will also be held liable. The court of Indanan is more superior than the, the one that you have, the tribunal superior de justicia. This sovereign court covers above all of you, even the Supreme Court of the Philippines. I can say that because I have re-established all of this. How could I redeem? How could I get back all the assets of God of Allah, the holy asset, if I am not superior than all of you? So you will be held liable and your claim is null and void. As Elizabeth III, I am putting justice into this land, into the promised land. And I thank Queen Mama for just watching and giving me the opportunity to do my job from day to day and onward. This is not just a claim. This is the heir and successorship as an heir apparent direct from God. That's why we are living now in the divine sovereignty. God himself will put justice. All of you claimants, Sultan, all of you claimants of the heirs and successors that supported the Sabah stand-up, Sambuanga stand-up, this is the exact basis to be litigated in your name that put the land into severe damages. Now, Lanao, be prepared because I am putting an end to the war in Russia because we are going to let them pay the backup. Without the backup, they are not the country. All of you, without the backup of gold from the Sultanate of Sulu and North Borneo, you can never be a country. That's why Maharlika Kingdom of God is now zooming high into the air, zooming high into the world. And they are legitimate process because it is the Queen Elizabeth III doing all of this in behalf of the elders of the world, putting me into the limelight because this is not just simply a job. This is the mandate from God Allah. Thank you very much for all of you who is giving me the, the power, pushing me through to give all of this the hand of God in my mission. So therefore, as I start talking, you cannot stop because I am going to put out the light against your claim that is based on the evil of what you have done that led to the multiple killings. I have filed the case at the Ombudsman putting Marcos Muhammad Kiram, Rudin Hood, all of you Kirams, that you will be paying back the true heirs and successor, which is I and Rajamamay. With the living witnesses, the President Ferdinand Interlin Marcos, and also with Ama Ali, the Royal Hashimite Sultanate of Sulu de Sabah, is alive. So therefore, your claim is null and void. That is the alas of Queen Helen. I had been living under the protection 
of the incan spirit of our forefathers. So if I fight you in the name of this divine sovereignty, that means I am superior because I am just following the mandate of God of Allah. I wish to thank my brother who has been watching me all the way. This mission is the salvation of the entirety of all the royal family of the world. So therefore I am putting my life, the danger is everywhere. In fact, they even went up just really to find if I am still alive in Raja Mamai and Amma Ali. From now on, we will be stricter for those people that are coming because they have finally known that the power and authority is with us. So I have to say thank you to each and every one that listening all over the world. I have to speak in English and I hope my people will realize that for how many months I have spoken in Tagalog for them to realize and to understand. But this time I have to cater to all the intellectuals, lawyers, judges, military, all the officials that they must have to put the stoppage of war now and put peace and prosperity into this land of promise. I thereby asked the blessing of Allah to give me more strength and courage to do my job as a Queen Elizabeth III to fix what has been the, the mistake of the past, to put it right, to put it right so that everyone will be living in peace, in harmony, coexist, whatever faith and denomination they belong. No more rich or poor, the equality of rights. We will be having all this. We have all the money to start a new beginning in the land of promise. That's why I embrace the refugees to come, because this is a vast land, this is the land that we are going to start the new generation under the banner of divine Allah of God. With Mama Weri, with me, I know that I could do my job because of the divine inspiration, the divine intervention, which are with me every day of my life. I come to the point that even the media are all liable into this. When they destroyed me the last time using Anton Israel, now still doing it, putting through their claims, even with the queen they have. But as I said, you have no backup. The gold are all consolidated by the king and queen. And it is all in the hands of our elders to put it right inventory of all the banks all over the globe that's why it has been reset economically you have no more funds you will be forced to come to the source of origin and this is elizabeth the third saying good day to everyone maraming maraming salamat and we have to see you tomorrow and you will know more because i am going to expose the lie and let the truth prevails thank you very much Mabuhay. God bless everyone. Allah be with you all. Masalam.